Hi, scrolling along with Susan here. I'm back in my workshop and I'm going to be doing something a little different, not necessarily all on the scroll saw this time, but I want to have a way that I can take my projects and actually carve my initials into the back a little bit more professionally than I've been doing so far. Now I have three full-sized routers. One is in a router table all the time and the other two I use sporadically. But in order to do initials, I want a little bit more control. So I went out and bought a rigid trim router and this is under $100 and I need to make a base plate for it so that I can maneuver around and do some freehand carving. So I bought a 12 by 12 piece of quarter inch um, acrylic and I just made my own pattern for a base plate, curved the edges here, made it about 10 and a half inches long and about five and a half inches wide and glued it down to my piece and then I put packing tape on the top and the bottom because I'm concerned that when I cut it out on my scroll saw that I might have burn marks and that will help lubricate the blade and hopefully avoid any burn marks. So let's see what happens. I'm here at my DeWalt 788 and I have put in a number seven skip tooth reverse blade and hopefully the higher number will reduce some of the burning that might occur here. And I'm just going to be doing this little side right here to see how that works out. And I have the tension. Got my ping going on there. And let's give it a try. Wow. Really happy with the way that turned out. Let's look at this side. Very nice. No burning at all. Here's where I made a big mistake. Make sure you wear masks and eye protection, especially when you're dealing with anything like wood or plastics. You don't want anything flying up your nose and into your body that can cause you problems. So please wear the proper protection. Now I suppose I could sand it all even, on, but there are a couple spots I want to go back over and I might as well just use a scroll saw to make it nice and smooth. So I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. What I did is I had this old pack of shaker pegs um, and I, they had this addition to them, which I didn't want. So I just drew a line, cut them both off to make them a little bit shorter and sanded them both down. So those are going to fit right here. I need to drill pilot holes here and in the bottom here. Remove the screws that are in your base plate that came with your router. Make sure you are very careful and you do not lose these screws or else you're going to have to go to the hardware store and buy the exact ones again. I've drawn a circle where my base plate is going to fit and I'm going to mark each hole with a pencil or pen or whatever that you can see with and I'll be using it all to make a little bit more permanent hole. I found some of my dad's old screws, don't go out and really buy any unless you need to, that will fit fine as a half an inch and I'm going to be recessing all of the screws so they're smooth on the other end so half an inch will be fine, I'll go to a quarter inch and a little bit more than that on um, the acrylic and then through the top of this. I'm a little unsure of myself whether it's best to use a forstner bit or a counter sinking bit for the bottom part so that the it will be recessed and the head of the screw will fit in nicely and be smooth. So I'm taking one of my little scraps that I had, drilling two holes, using one for the Forstner and one for the countersink bit to see which one I like the best. Whether you are using a drill press like I am or a hand drill, make sure you mark the depth. You're only working with a quarter of an inch thickness, so you don't want the um, wider part of the Forstner bit to go all the way through or it will defeat the purpose. I'm 
marking, this is the bottom part and this is the front. So I don't get disoriented. Now I'm ready to flip it back over. Place my unit on top and check the whole alignment. Ooh, that's nice. I had a lot of trial and error on this piece. And what I've learned was that I need to have the inside hole with the drill bit larger than the screw so that it can easily pass through and attach to my trim router. And so I used about an 11 64th bit on the inside and then my 3 16th inch bit for the outside, my Forstner bit to um, allow the screw to lay just a little bit under the surface, that was fine. And so I tested it all out and then I realized, oh, I gotta drill the hole in the middle. For drilling this middle hole, I again placed tape, packing tape on the top and the bottom to try to reduce any kind of burning that it might do. And I took my original plate that came with the trim router, lined up the holes, drew the circle, and put a dot in the middle. I used a 1 and 7 8 inch round hole saw set cut for this, and I bought that at Harbor Freight. Two tips here. Tighten all four screws about equally until they're all tightened, and do not over tighten any of the screws so you do not split the plastic. I am ready to give my new trim router with my base plate a try. So I have a V-bit in and it's exposed just about an eighth of an inch on the underside, so that's how much I'll be cutting on this. I've put my signature or what I use for my projects down here on wood. And let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and carve. Make sure you wear plenty of protection. You need to have a mask on, goggles on, and sometimes I wear an apron because this wood chips are really going to fly. So here we go. I have to admit, I had a lot of fun doing this carving. I see a lot more in my future. And the base plate, it works wonderfully. I don't think that's too bad for my first attempt. Well, for a first time, I'm pretty happy with it. I did get a little off the lines. It's not as smooth as I want it to be, but with practice, I'm sure I'll get better and better at it. First of all, I used the wrong drill bit. I needed to use either a straight bit or a specialty bit just for carving. And I think I will be more accurate with that. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to add this new dimension with my scroll saw work. Hey, thanks a lot for watching.